Welcome to this introduction to PlexSpy Application Status Monitor. PlexSpy is accessed through a web browser and here we have an instance of Firefox in use. I put the URL of PlexSpy into the address bar of the browser and then have to perform a RACF sign-on. And having done so, the PlexSpy interface is shown to us. The PlexSpy interface uses a number of consistent buttons for reload, home, and help. These are shown. And also a print button. And on the left hand side there's the navigation menu containing administration options which can be displayed within the navigation menu itself or within the main panel. An infrastructure views item which we'll come to in another time. And then below that the infrastructure associated with named applications. Those options that are expandable have a plus sign alongside them, known, known as navigation groups. If you select a named application and click on it, then as you can see you have the infrastructure associated with that named application shown to you. A number of tables are shown and uh, the headings for each of those tables. Some online help available and if there's Something we have highlighted as maybe being interesting, then you have some pop up help available for that too. There's also a button that you can click to say, Show me only errors or alerts, and uh, that will cut down on your display. And uh, a refresh, an automatic refresh button can be set. And if we select an individual row, then we can have the whole record shown to us rather than just a subset of the data. The same buttons are present on there as well. We'll close that and wait for the refresh to come around after 30 seconds. And there it is. So we'll turn it off. We can toggle between errors on or errors off. We can bring up some online help, which comes up in another tab. For now, we'll go back to the main display. I suggest that you now take a look at part two of this introduction to PlexSpy, where we will use the administrative functions to define a new application.